Welcome once again to Culinary Thing. And what we have here is an array in table service things. And we'll just go one by one in these. This is a two cup bowl. And what we what I put in here are things that are about one cup in measure. And we know that the statement in the capacity of these things are to the, the top of the receptacle. And so if this is a two cup bowl, it's a two cup to the top there. And um, so one cup fits very nicely in there. This is a 10 ounce tumbler mug and what fits nicely in here, one cup in liquid and less than that. This is a condition here and this is a two and a half ounce juice receptacle. And a mountain juice fits nicely in there. This here, this is a, I think it's a three-quarter cup, six, uh, no, it's actually a six-ounce, uh, six-ounce raccoon. And I put condiments in here and relishes and different things like that. Chips go in this two-cup bowl very nicely also. And then here, over here, I've got my table for this knife. You can see the thickness on that. And here's table service spoon, and you can see the thickness on that. And here then is table service fork, and you can see the thickness on that table service fork. I like these thick handled table service because I think they're more durable and less likely to bend. This here is a, said to be a, a, a plate, and I wanted to talk about well, what really fits on that. And if you fit something on a six, uh, this six-inch plate as it is, you say that can be a real nice one-time sitting eating. So the, the six-inch plate, it goes for you know, six individual servings per day very nicely. And that's a square one. This is a, a circular one. And the reason I have two of these, sometimes I have a little dessert that I prepare. I place it in a refrigerator to chill. I still have this other one for my table service at the sitting eating. So this here is the eight and a half inch plate, and this works very nicely for a larger portion and individual sitting eating. And then this here is the eight and a half inch raised edge plate, and I just like this for larger portions in sitting eating. And what goes in here are very nice are stews and things. Any stew goes very nice in a raised edge plate. And then what I have here is then my three cup bowl. What I put in here is soup. Soup goes very nicely in here. And some stew sometimes I put in here also. But mostly this is said to be soup uh, condition. The raised edge plate is there for, for rich stews and that includes pasta. And so we have these conditions in the plate. We can go ahead and we can stack in this particular condition, plate goes there, the bowl go, can go there and store it, and then that raised edge plate goes on top of the bowl there. The six inch plate, these get stuck like that, and then this, these bowls can go on here. Well, that's the two cup bowls. There's one more that goes on there, and let's see where we can find that. And here it is, it's on the counter. This is the one cup bowl. And I put, this is a very nice thing for sitting, eating. In the, the two cup bowl, I put salad in there. This one cup bowl, oftentimes I put the hot cereal in this and things like that. That fits right inside that two cup bowl. And then this this uh, six ounce rankine, it goes right in the one cup bowl. There. So in the receptacle in the hidden place on, then there's those two portions in space that those table service bowls and plates do occupy. And then I put in the, the receptacle and I put my other things in there like that. And not quite that particular order. And then these table service flatware then go in the receptacle. So we can take a look at this condition. And in this receptacle I've got some napkins and this is the only thing that's in that receptacle presently. And it's just a kitchen drawer. It's got eight and a half inch height thereabouts.
of M less than that. But it's not two inches, it's not four inches. And you can see how that is there. And so this one stack can play it as it is. It gets uh, placed here behind those napkins. And then this other stack and plate, it goes adjacent to that in the back there. And then this 10 ounce tumbler mug goes in there. And this 2.5 ounce juice receptacle goes in, fruit juice goes in there. And then here's our table service. Flatware as it is. And that's knife, that's fork, and that's spoon. And that's how those go on the table also. Knife, fork, and spoon. At least that's my bring back and my some of your composition at the table. Now these things are sharp implements and Mostly you want to be careful with these when you're walking around with them. And as you know, if you don't, if you do know, and if you don't, then it's a time to learn something like that. Have these things pointed toward the flooring. That way, if you, when you're walking, you won't be pointing this at anyone, particularly if you're living with other people. Those sharp implements in the kitchen are pointed toward the flooring so that they are not going to be a danger to people in the kitchen that might be in, in the, at the kitchen table that might be near you. And so that's the condition, table service condition, including the, the napkin there. And the only other thing that occur is this pad here that I have. And I place that pad on the kitchen table and that puts a, I put my plate on that and that provides something that if some food, uh, food spill a little over and it goes on that uh, pad, that cherry cloth pad. And the other thing that I use that for is also just rubbing my finger if I get some food on it or something. And that's why my place, so-called place mat, I just use a, a cherry cloth washcloth and it works very nicely for me in my practical daily life. And so that's this time. And Corner everything.